Hey, folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Ian writing in on an email. He's asking, this is the, the, the heading of the email is D500 versus D750 for low light. So he says, hi, Matt. I've recently upgraded from a D7200 to a D500, mainly used uh, for wildlife and sports. I'm now being asked about indoor concert and gig photography. I'm wondering if I should look at a good value full frame such as the D750 for low light. From my research at the time of buying the D500, a lot of reviews mentioned the good high ISO performance of the D500 being very close to the 750. What is your experience? P.S. Love the YouTube channel. Keep up the good work. Many thanks, Ian. Well, thanks, Ian. Um, I would probably give a slight edge to the 750 for high ISO, although I think it's probably so close that I wouldn't go buy in a 750 instead of the 500 if the only reason you wanted to do that was you thought it was going to get you better high ISO performance. I think the 500 is going to perform just fine. Um, if I was buying the two bodies, I would probably buy the 750 because I like the full frame and I really like the 750 and I like the, the native lenses. I know exactly what I would buy to go with that. I'd probably have an 85 F1 AG, a 24 to 120 F4 VR, and I'd probably throw in a 200 to 500 because I like the long range for going to the zoo and wildlife and things like that. Um, but, uh, again, you've already bought the D500 and if you're happy with it, other than you're just thinking maybe you get better low light out of the 750, I don't think you'd be that impressed with the margin of difference. You may see a little bit with the 750, if any, but I think it'd be very, very minimal again, if any. So that's, I, I would stick with your 500 unless there's other reasons you want the 750, such as, you know, you want a full frame camera for the, the lenses being the native range that they are for instance a 24 to 70 is a 24 to 70 with no crop factor on a full frame 750 you get shallower depth of field for a given lens in other words at f1.8 with a prime you're gonna have a shallower depth of field on the 750 than you are on your d500 which is nice for subject isolation uh, but as far as high iso performance again i don't think you're gonna see a lot of difference but let me push it back to the viewers what do you guys think for those of you that have shot these or you've studied both looking to buy them um do you agree with me? You're not going to see much high ISO performance difference between a 750 and a D500? Or do you think there is going to be a bit of, bit of noticeable difference and it's something you should look at? Let me know in the comments below. Um, always great to hear your feedback because, uh, you know, rounds out the discussion, rounds out the, the user experience, especially those of you that are writing in and have shot these as well and it's your user experience opinions. Um, you know, like I said, in real world terms, I don't think so, but maybe some of you are shooting these and you beg to differ. So let us know in the comments below. Let us know uh, what your feedback is, what you would do and why. Uh, let's help out Ian. Always great to um, get a more rounded um, source of feedback when our viewers have questions. Thanks for your question, Ian. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.